Okay, I put this short video together, and hopefully this helps somebody out there who's having problems connecting uh, MSP to their console. I did have the same issue, which I've corrected. But I thought I'd put it out here. One of the things you got to remember is Windows 10, um, when you have multiple adapters, network adapters, they're all set for automatic metric, meaning the priority in which one adapter has a priority over another. They vary, but when you have two adapters, one connected and one or two connected using the same metric or a lower metric, let's say your adapter is a lower metric than another adapter that's connected also, chances are you're not going to find your console. So let me show you a little bit more in detail. So if I go into, if I go into the network adapters, and I've been in the IT business for many, many years, I, mine's probably more complex than most. I deal with a lot of customers, different VPNs, things of that nature. So I have different uh, VPN adapters. But the ones I'll talk about more, this is a virtual environment that I run VMware for different operating systems that I help troubleshoot and things of that nature. And then these are the two I'm going to talk about. Now, I prefer to always have the wired over wireless even at gigs, but sometimes that's just convenience. Sometimes I don't, and sometimes I do. So if I right-click on here and I go down to Properties, this is really easy. If you go down here and you go to IP version 4, and you go to Advanced, you can override the automatic metric by just unticking the box and setting it to a value. Now, one is going to be the highest priority, which means it's going to be search first, and then everything else follows that. So typically I want my LAN adapter checked first, if it's connected. And then I set this for a value of 5. Now, why a value of 5? Not, why not 2? Because I want to leave a little space in case another adapter, I want to give it a little bit priority. I have the room to do that. So with that being said, um, if you want to check them, just make sure that they're set correctly. You can do that through PowerShell. And you come up here, right-click, and go to PowerShell Command. And you issue a GET. Attack. Uh, it's called net uh, IP interface, and if you hit that, you're going to see IP version six is always going to list first. But we're looking at this quadrant down here. Oop. Man, let me do this again here. Okay, get them a little bit more together here. So down here, you can see that, obviously, this is disconnected. So the next pri connected priority along would be the Wi-Fi. So once I set that, now I come back into Mixing Station Pro. And before, when I connected my console, I'd come into here, have to pick its IP. I use a subnet 10.0.1.x when I am at gigs using a different router. And then this one... Here I'm going to search for, I'm on a uh, Eero in my studio. So I'm going to search that, and you see I'm on 172.31.2 network. And it found the, the IP address for the M32C, and I'm going to connect to it. That's it. Pretty easy. I uh, hope this helps somebody who's having this issue. Anyway, um, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video.